At this point, I'm curious if it'll work with a paper bag over my head. I'm joking, of course. What's up, guys? The TechSpot here, and iOS 15.4 is near. It's going to be released officially to the public sometime next week, most likely on March 14th or 15th. It's a huge update packed with many cool features. Let's take a dive in. All right, now many people usually ask, so if you do want this wallpaper on my device, links will be down below in the description. All right, now in iOS 15.4, there are 37 new emojis and even more variations in Unicode 14.0. So check this out, there's this peaking emoji, there's a melting emoji, a salute, I think. There's a covering mouth emoji. I like to call this one the blank emoji. And I'm going to search for cry. And there's this tears of joy crying emoji. So it doesn't always have to be sad. This one's tears of joy. And scrolling over, we have heart hands emoji. And again, in these different variations. And check out the shaking hands emoji. You guys can see all the different skin tones added for all kinds of different handshakes. And every single variation possible. It's super diverse. I think this is the grabbing emoji. That's what I'm going to call it. And here's the being given emoji. Not sure if that's it, but that's what I'm guessing. Ooh, and check out the pointing emoji. For some reason, I really like this one. You have the different variations there as well. Again, there are 37 new emojis. And I'm going to go and type in pregnant. And there's even a pregnant man emoji. And you guys can see that it has a bunch of different variations as well. So again, Apple is aiming to be super diverse over here in iOS 15.4 and cater to absolutely everyone. So yeah, these are the new iOS 15.4 emojis. And I also attached a screenshot to show you guys all the rest. Now in iOS 15.4, you can also use Face ID with a mask. So if you head over to settings, Face ID and passcode, there's a new option that says Face ID with a mask, enable that toggle, and then over here it says use face ID with a mask. You won't need to wear a mask during setup. So you just set it up like normal, and it's super quick to set up face ID now. Just one roundhouse and you're done. Anyways, I'm gonna put my mask on as you guys can see, and I'm gonna go ahead and lock my device and unlock it, and just like that, it is unlocked, and I'm still using my mask as you guys can see over here. So super cool. I cannot believe this actually works. It's really incredible. Let me do it again. And boom, look at that. I still have my mask on and face ID worked. Now I also have my glasses on and my mask. And you guys can see that once I'm gonna lock my device and unlock it, it still works perfectly fine. and It is still super fast. That is crazy. Let's take it to another level. I'm going to take off my glasses and this time put on sunglasses. So now I have sunglasses and my mask on. Let's go and try this out and see if it works. I'm going to lock my device and let's go and see. Wow. Look at that. It Whoa. still unlocks. Yo, that still worked. That's crazy. Absolutely unbelievable. It still works with sunglasses and a mask on. At this point, I'm curious if it'll work with a paper bag over my head. I'm joking, of course. Now, this feature is unfortunately only available on the iPhone 12 and 13 models. Older iPhones like the iPhone 11 will not support this because the iPhone 12 and 13 do have improved cameras and sensors that are able to put more dots on her face and recognize there's also a new gender neutral voice in siri so head over to settings and then siri and search from there tap on siri voice and if you head over to american of course you have the typical voices that they had before but now voice 5 is a gender neutral voice whose name is quinn so yeah a new voice added to siri hi i'm siri choose the voice you'd like me to use hi i'm siri Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Now, if you go into settings, wallpaper, choose new wallpaper, and then live, there's a new green live wallpaper that is now also included here because of the new green models of the iPhone 13 Pro and the iPhone 13. Now, just a side note too, but the iPhone SE 3 new wallpapers are available. And if you guys do want to download them before the new iPhone SE 3 is out and have them on your device, links will be down below in the description. You guys can see that they have three different wallpapers right over here. Now, Apple is also adding tap to pay so you can pay without needing a credit card terminal or extra hardware. You can simply hold two iPhones next to each other and pay. Now, I have not been able to test out this feature, but it is coming in iOS. 15.4 
and it probably will work through the wallet app after linking your credit card. Now on top of that, you will also be able to save your digital IDs, including your license, in the Wallets app. This is going to be rolled out in the United States first, and the first states that will support this are Arizona and Georgia. After that will follow Connecticut, Iowa, Kentucky, Maryland, Oklahoma, Utah, and then other states like Colorado, Delaware, Florida, and Louisiana. Some states might even offer their own digital ID apps that could integrate with the Wallet app on iPhone. Now you you guys remember that shiny titanium apple card well in ios 15.4 apple card widgets will be able to be added to your home screen it'll show your current balances and spending activity which i think is very useful i might just get an apple credit card just to monitor my spending activity better and having a widget will make it so much more easy now if you love gaming on your iphone and ipad you'll be excited to hear that ps5's dualsense adaptive triggers are going to be supported on iOS soon. So the adaptive triggers are where you press down on the trigger and it'll have more and more resistance. For example, when you're shooting a bow and arrow or a different gun, the triggers on the controller will have different resistance, or even when you're like driving a car or playing racing games. DualSense adaptive trigger support is coming to iOS. Now, Apple is also fixing a bug in ProMotion 120Hz, where some apps would just not support it and revert back to 60Hz. This was mostly in third-party apps, so now those third-party apps will switch to 120Hz ProMotion automatically. All right, now features aside, how does iOS 15.4 for run well i can report that it is very very smooth like i have had like zero bugs and it just runs flawlessly it's absolutely incredible it runs even better than the public releases i'm on the beta right now and it still runs absolutely incredible super fast super fluid no stutters no bugs this right here is a very solid update and the same goes for battery life too. Like, I did not think battery life could get better on the iPhone 13 Pro, but it has. I literally go like two days on the same charge. My phone's battery percentage just does not move. I could use my device all day and still be left at like 30, 40%, if not more. The battery life and stability of iOS 15.4 is on another level. And if I am running low on battery, there's always that low power mode. And I just squeeze so much battery life just with the low power mode too yeah what more can i say battery life is amazing as along with performance all right so again guys ios 15.4 is officially going to be released to the public sometime next week probably on march 14th or 15th if not later that week solid update this is the tech spot peace back and I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. And I'm smoking, and I'm smoking, and I'm smoking. And I'm talking, and I'm talking, and I'm talking. Yeah, I'm doing that a lot. Uh. Gotta get this new drop. Gotta yeah. get it. Gotta move in this desert. Uh. Gotta move in.